Instructions in Geometry, a la Shmuk. Some people are happy being famous, even with all the bad press they get. Some people like helping others and making a difference in the world. And some people find true inner peace just by sitting on top of a construction scaffolding with hard hats and day-old turkey sandwiches. Of course, construction isn't all about hammering up drywall and playing with power tools. It's also about being creative. In geometry, a construction is a drawing that you make using only a straight edge, a compass, and a pencil. A straight edge is anything you can use to make a straight line, like a ruler or the back of your geometry textbook or a 2x4. A compass might point north if you're venturing through the Amazon, but in geometry we're talking about this thing, which preserves distance and draws a perfect circle. Using only these three tools, we can construct practically anything. A perpendicular bisector, a congruent angle, an equilateral triangle, or parallel lines. But what good is all this talk of construction if we can't do anything with it? Let's try a relatively simple construction. How do we construct an angle congruent to this given angle? We'll start by drawing a ray, which will be one of the sides of our new angle. Now we can use our compass to mark an arc length within the given angle, with the center at the end point of the angle. Without changing the measurement of the compass, let's draw an identical arc on our ray. We adjust our compass to be the distance between the intersections between the arc and the sides of the given angle. If we take this distance and apply it to the intersection between the arc and the ray, we can draw a small arc that intersects with the first one. Two points are enough to draw another ray from the end point of the angle through the point where the two arcs intersect. And there you have it, a congruent angle, constructed using only a pencil, a straight edge, and a compass. It's no Eiffel Tower, but it'll do. Fantastic! Subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, we recommend you watch our video, How to Find the Subscribe Button.